After the disaster that was the last instalment of The Walking Dead, my enthusiasm for this week's episode, Bury Me Here, an episode that primarily takes place at the Kingdom and mainly focuses on Morgan, was at an all-time low. However, as I reached the conclusion, I found myself feeling the same as when I watched Hostiles and Calamities a couple of weeks ago, that being a mixture of shock and positivity. Shock because I'm surprised that once again The Walking Dead has managed to pull off a decent episode when focusing on a character that I'm not particularly fond of and positivity due to the fact that I had thoroughly enjoyed what I had watched. In fact, I feel like Bury Me Here may well be one of the best entries of this season. The main focus of this week centred on two pivotal meetings between the saviours and members of the kingdom. Tension has been something that I feel The Walking Dead has been sorely lacking lately. A lot of the time the action unfolding on screen feels extremely predictable, and none of the characters really feel under any significant threat. With that in mind, I felt that both the meetups that unfolded between the two mentioned groups were extremely nerve-wracking and made for some rather tense viewing. I was overcome by a genuine feeling that something could go wrong at any minute, and go wrong it did as poor Benjamin was shot and eventually succumbed to his injuries. I know that Benjamin isn't one of the biggest or well-known characters on the show, but in the little screen time he has had, he's been portrayed as one of the most caring and genuine. He didn't deserve to die in the manner that he did, and actually felt a little upset when he passed. His death also affected another character deeply, that being Morgan who seemed to have thought of him as something of a surrogate son after taking it upon him to train him. Now I've made it pretty clear numerous times that since his reinvention as some kind of Jedi monk that I haven't really been fond of Morgan. In fact, I've often found him to be irritating and boring most of the time he's been on screen since the beginning of Season 6. However, there was nothing dull or annoying about his character this time around. Long story short, when Benjamin dies, Morgan completely loses it. Overcome with grief, Morgan starts seeing flashbacks of his own son Dwayne, as well as himself during much crazier, darker times. Normally, I would probably complain about this kind of sequence, but I felt it was edited and put together in a really effective manner. And as horrible as it sounds to say, I've been waiting a long time for Morgan to break. I found him to be a hell of a lot more watchful in the past when he was a bit insane, going around killing people and clearing everything. And as a viewer, I'm actually delighted that his dark side is resurfacing. It's also, I feel, a good piece of character development, and it'll be interesting to see his mental struggle play out in the future. I also thought it was interesting that the death of Benjamin was actually caused by the actions of Richard. Richard chose to hide a piece of fruit that was to be collected by the saviours in order to provoke them, in the hope that they would kill him, which would then force Ezekiel to finally take up arms against them. Unfortunately for him, things didn't go to plan as they chose to shoot Benjamin instead. Truth be told, it was a bit predictable that Richard was behind the missing fruit, especially seeing as we've already witnessed him tell Daryl about a plan to have Carol killed to provoke the saviours. However, it's still made for decent viewing nonetheless. Even though I could see how angry Morgan was when Richard confessed to him what he had done, I still didn't expect Morgan to strangle him to death in front of both the saviours and members of the kingdom. But boy was it satisfying to see. Despite the fact that I did feel a bit of empathy for Richard when he described the death of his wife and daughter when talking to Morgan shortly after Benjamin died, that emotion was quickly replaced with a general feeling of resentment as he began to talk about how he would lead the people of the kingdom to fight against Negan. How could a guy so cowardly who initially wanted to have Carol killed and then inadvertently got Benjamin killed still be so arrogant? Richard was someone who simply did not have the capability to lead, and his delusions of doing so made me dislike him even more which ultimately made me glad when Morgan killed him. I also thought it was a nice little touch when Morgan said his son's name Dwayne instead of Benjamin, much to the confusion of Ezekiel and his men, when explaining that Richard had set the whole thing up. It showed that the death of his son still affects him deeply, and it was a nice callback to the first episode of the show. The ending which saw Morgan tell Carol the truth about what Negan had done to Glenn and Abraham was pleasing to watch. Hopefully it now means that Carol will have a bigger role to play in the future, and like Morgan, it's possible we could see a transformation occur soon in her character. I just pray that she reverts back to her old badass self. As mentioned at the start of this video, like episode 12, Hostiles and Calamities, Bury Me Here was another episode that I expected very little of beforehand. However, upon viewing, I found it to be kind of brilliant. Morgan's psychotic transformation in my eyes is the best thing that has happened to his character for a long time, and suddenly, like Eugene and Dwight, I've actually gone from dreading seeing him appear on the screen to wanting to see more of him. 